Hi. <coughs> Another bounce land for Amulet just got spoiled. Holy shit, that's gonna change everything. Orphan Guard. I keep. He's a phenomenal control player. Holy shit, thundering Hi. falls, that's too much. Second line is awesome. I'll open with grief effeminate. Ah, no point in effeminating. Yeah, thank you, Yellowheart, for the sub. Villain plays Flooded Strand. You know, there's a chance they drew a spell, so let's... Grieve the Solitude, fair. And now I need my Survey land to give me something good, because my hand is pretty trash. You can also draw step... Feminate. can also effeminate when my opponent picks up Kahira. It's disastrous if villain plays Time Raveler. And villain probably just cycles Zagov rather than... Okay, I kept the card on top. Is that warrant an effeminate? Let's say it does. Means that villain cannot pick up Kahira and even cycling Trium. Well, I guess Trium is fine. But is Hira not villain? Honestly, true. Of Zagov, but they'll cycle the Zagov. So I get second white probably. I've sold this in my hands and like prismatic ending. So it's gonna be Meticulous Archivos. <clears throat> hmm, this is probably better to mill than it is to draw. Kind of high rolling, but it seems to make sense. Punished. Cycles I go Okay. Pick up Kahira now. Play Fabulo. Rough. Am I interested in racing? I probably am. Am I? After his mana gaining, which I can spend on the Goblin Shaman. It's better against Solitude to attack. Probably attacking is like, it's fine. Don't keep binding on top. That seems a tiny bit weak, but
Why is only Sean removing my clothes? Honey, man. Holy shit, I love when Twitch had requests songs. So now, Villain Huska here in hand. I could Prismatic Ending a Shaman, I could cast Faithful Mending. I cannot keep up Fossil Negotiation, which Casting the Mending helps with. What's it like disaster scenario? I guess disaster scenario would be villain deploying ring. Let's keep up the option to mending into a ring. Why don't you see smart? Obviously you know that. Fair. Walked all pretty well. What's it cycling toward? Seems like villain is scooping. We would take what? Thoughts is any land, and then creature in sand. Let's assume it's the one ring deck. <clears throat> I have two random bowmeisters in my sideboard. Bobsy, I think you're watching with no sound. You skip the exact song you wanted to skip. Yeah, we have two copies of the Blue Fable. Steam Cross Color. I performed some random changes to Twitter Eye Out cards. <clears throat> I guess they might play like Removal. Not Removal. Graveyard Removal. Solo seems really bad against like the Omnov deck. One or two copies. Two copies sounds good. Tefari sounds fine. Stream one ending, one mending. Good place to let the Grizzle Brand seems awesome. Return the fell rights. Well, I mean. The nerf is good. This Falaji. Well, I guess I have I was at sixty cards. Well, let's submit then. Good play to Blatter. Or Bowmaster, they play the Onion Ring, but yes, the Rand deck Bowmaster is just kind of too tame. <clears throat> Villain Mulgans to five cards. Holy shit. What a hand this is.
Just have to be careful not to fetch Lush Portica. I'm playing with four Marsh Flats and Lush Portica, which is a bit awkward in that you cannot fetch it turn one in a situation like this to <clears throat> play Eldogens on turn two. <sighs> which is rough. So Villain was on five cards. I could just pitch the blue fable to form. This is lands though. First let's fetch on the city sewers. Put Grizzle Brand to my graveyard. Let's pitch in case of in case of anything. In case of endurance, I'm thinking mainly and the villain's gonna be at one card. Fable, Fable, Onion Ring. I pass. Discard, 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 discard Grizzlebrand. Discard Mending, Fetches, Mystical Archive, keep a white source. Scholar. Mother Atraxa. Swamp. More? This is crazy, you get to keep so few cards. Ending. We have Commandeer, Vengeance. Oh, I should have pitched Indulgence probably. Doesn't matter though. Your opponent got to keep fewer, true. This weekend, it was put for me into perspective how good Surveillance are in this deck. Namely, I've been told that since you play a 60 card deck and it has 6 big monsters, this hits the big monster 10% of the time. Which is a lot for free. A lot as a free roll, right? You just like hit it in like 110 for the times you use it, and you also like do it multiple times per game often.
Chad told me that a new bounce land just got spoiled for Amulet Titan. Was that true or was that just a lie? Two March. No, that was not true. Holy shit, Blooming Marsh and Spy Bluff Canal are literally the same art. I guess it's the canal in the back and the marsh here. Added archway. When ETBs return a land you control to its owner's hand. If owner does that, was it this hand? Surveil one. <clears throat> Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, this is going to be standard legal, inspiring vantage. That's really strong for the decks. I guess that just means the entire 10 cycle, 10 part cycle is going to be present. Holy shit, I hate looking through the spoilers nowadays with like, you know, Spy Bluff Canal, Spy Bluff Canal, just like, is normal. Yes. Invalid expression is normal, so ignored. Checking if cards are normal is not supported. Yet somehow it worked. Just look at Mythic Spoiler. Could do that. But... I'm also annoyed by... Non-English languages versions being spoiled. So there is no solution to that for me. <sighs> Abraded bluffs. The ETB tapped, the US one damage target opponent. Key. Any flash the veteran. Naya Commandoro. White mana world one oh four. What a blocker. Bovin intervention, one white, instant, destroy target artifact or creature, its controller creates a two to white ox creature token. No one could prove the ox did it, but no one tried to harness it again either. Hmm. Cactarantula, plant spider, that's funny. Because one less to cast if you control a desert. Hexproof, but instead of being untargetable, it draws a card. <coughs> Colossal Rattlewurm, 4 mana, 6, 5. Rattlewurm has flash as long as you control a desert. Holy shit, 4 mana, 6, 5. Hey, Kanye, any funny stories from Prague you're willing to share? Share. No. Nothing funny happened during that. Uh, trip. I will likely be skipping RC Naples though because I did not qualify. So, if you think that's funny, then yeah, I guess. But what about the multiple DQs? You'd, you'd have to tell me. I don't know anything about them. I have personally not been DQ'd. I just went 6 free and got eliminated from the tournament. 
for being outside of top 64, which I guess was top 65 because one person got DQ'd and then it just traveled. Thoughts about the list you played? The list was pretty good, I think. Crash a week, maybe not so much. I didn't use most of my sideboard, I didn't play against the matchups that wanted the sideboard cards. I played against a Merte deck and a Scam deck and lost against those two, which those are probably a bit rougher. Escape and Thrag were pretty based, I enjoyed having them in my deck, I, that's good to hear. I was boarding Escape against you, but like at some point realized it was pretty stupid to do so. And I stopped. Any micro misplays you made? Assuredly. Cow Borb, instant, spree, exile, non token creature, then return. <sighs> Just target creature. If there is no other creature with greater power than it, it is destroyed. It is destroyed. Okay, so you can blink a strong creature of yours and then kill a big creature of theirs. <clears throat> Cool. Cool beans. Craft T Coyote. When EDBs another target creature control gets plus one plus one in highest. <coughs> and you plot it. So you pick the cost and exile it from your hand and then you can cast it for free. So you can just choose to cast it later. Pay now, cast later. Holy shit, it's Nathan, Sto it's Nathan Steuer, world champion XX, Y, I, I. Is Nathan strong in Phoenix? ETV create a mercenary. Mercenary is a red 1-1 one, one with tap. Target creature control gets plus 1 plus 0 oh, at sorcery. Okay. Whenever you activate an ability that targets a creature or player, copy that ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. So it actually gives plus two, plus zero. Is Feebility a villain? Three mana, one, one, war, two, future side, kind of. Did you know that if Nathan does not day two in Seattle, we'll be back to grinding NCQs in Bitcoin like cities? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty easy to fall off. from the PT, so definitely can also get to him. Lost a boot in the muck. Got the get the feeling I'm lucky. I got to keep the leg. Holy shit. He's a phenomenal control player. Final showdown. Six mana instant destroy all creatures. The 19th prime number. The next is 71. A Chen prime. An irregular prime. A lucky prime. The sum or a of five trick. consecutive primes, 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus 17 plus 19. Two mana indestructible. A number. A pill I prime since 18.
two plus mana one is divisible dress down. by sixty-seven, but sixty-seven is not one more than a multiple of eighteen. Palindromic inquiry, two thousand three hundred three mana dress down and, and one of your creatures is indestructible. Eight mana dress down, save one of your creatures, eight mana dress down, save one of your creatures kill everything prime, else. An isolated prime. 65 and 69 are not prime. Two mana dress down. Holmium, Question mark. That's just like dress down. Well, it's not because it doesn't draw a card a and staying on the battlefield also matters. Belief in the existence of 58 original sins by several civilizations native to Central America or South America caused the number to symbolize misfortune. Aztec oracles supposedly stumbled across the number an unnaturally high number of times before disaster fell. One famous recording of this, though largely discredited as mere folktale, concerned the oracle of Moctezuma II, who allegedly counted 58 pieces of gold scattered before a sacrificial pit the day prior to the arrival of Hernán Cortés. From a posse. What's a posse? Create X mercenaries, okay. Perdi Strider lookout, reach. Whenever you commit a crime, look at the top five. You may put a land on the battlefield tapped. Only ones each turn. Frontier Seeker, look at the top five. You may reveal a mount creature card or a planes card. A mount. Gisa. The Hellraiser, War 2, Pay 2 Life, Skeleton Lord, we con you commit a crime, create two zombies. Great Train Haste, Heist. Creatures you control get plus O1, plus O, and gain first strike. Or untap them extra combat or choose opponent. The seven mana spell. Two mana one one. Whenever you commit a crime, untap bandit. Triggers only once each turn. Plant rogue. Hell to pay, X red, X to target creature and excess damage makes you tapped treasures. Honest Runstein, free mana, free two, no questions, no refunds. See, actually being honest. When ETBs return creature card from graveyard to hand, okay. Excuse your spells cost one less to cast, that's crazy. O kurwa, wylałem sobie herbatę. Zaprzelałem kubek, normalnie. No nie dobrze. All right, bro, so I just overpowered my tea. In a crazy way, I just spilled it onto my desk. Holy cow, creature, Ox Angel. Holy shit. Holy cow, ja pierdole. Holy cow, no nie mogę. It's actually pretty funny, kind of flash flying when ETBs you gain two life and scry one. After it passed by, the rancher swore she saw hope shining in the pig's eyes. High noon, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Two mana. And then you can sacrifice it. 
which is actually useful. Let's see, SCR Freedom Form Limited. No, that's simply a Windrake. Oh, it's, it's much better than Windrake. Probably right. Intimidation campaign. Drain while you draw. <clears throat> when you commit a crime, return it to your hand. It returns only from the battlefield. Holy shit, that's true. Hot take, ley line with Jace will not be good. Holy shit, that seems like a strong statement. Was it ley line of anticipation? So you like cast Jace in your opponent's upkeep and it's not your second turn because it's their second turn? Plus one loot. So it says a four mana planeswalker, but for two mana. Then plus one you plot. Casting a turn four with cantrap seems fine. In modern, you may exile a non land card with mana value 3 or less from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. So you can, like, exile Rhinos. Or, yeah, you're gay as well. Holy shit, plot Valky, that is insane. My guess, likely unplayable. Jolene. 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 Do you want to play soccer? I mean, kinda, but also it's not like so. What that is two mana? If like so, what that is two mana? If it's not really two mana, right? Yeah. That's Let's say you have red and six and suddenly it says you can't cast it on your first, second or third turn of the game. Kellan, the kid. Looks solid. Crown, Violet, Cacopony. Second spell, put a counter and draw a card. That sounds crazy. Boots. They seem crazy. Laza, familiar stranger. Hi, <sighs> Magda, the Horde Master. Whenever comedy crime. Create a 4 4 red scorpion dragon. All of those abilities trigger once. Fetching haste with Saga is good. 
Probably a better way to grant haste compared to gingerbread ones used in hammer. Lava spur boots, so maybe in some decks you are into that. Make your own luck. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may exile a non-all card from among them. If you do, it becomes plotted. Put the rest into your hand. Or a card advantageous spell. Flying, Vigilance, Ward 2. This is an uncommon. Survival 2 when you crime. I wish there was like less a way to use less words to say this ability triggers only once each turn and like maybe have it appear before the text before the ability so that you don't get disappointed afterwards but it just sets your expectations at first Oko the ringleader it was already spoiled it was whatever plan the heist Surbil free if you have no cards in hand then draw three cards you may pay four and exile this card from your hand or mana draw three and then it might be just Surveil 3 on top of that. Saddle 2. Tap any number of other creatures you control to power 2 or more. This mount becomes saddled until end of turn. Quilt Charger. While saddled, it gets plus 1, plus 2 and gains menace until end of turn. So it's like crewing creatures for a benefit. <clears throat> raise dead, no, raise child. Return up to one creature from graveyard to the battlefield, one permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Why doesn't Saddle give horseman ship? True. New Ragdos. Flying Trample. Sacrifice creature to gain indestructible. Tap it. Activate only once. Okay. Whenever you sack a creature, exile cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library. And you may play them. That's crazy. Five mana. Yeah, it's like Dream Troller, true. If you have some monsters, then you can't kill it. And if you try to kill it, it's going to steal f f my equal to mana value. Doesn't really work as well with tokens. Oh, Rakish crew. Mm. An ETB creating mercenary. Whenever an outlaw you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Outlaw. Holy cow. Uncommon, 3 mana death touch Gorgon, you commit a crime, creature you control gains your choice of menace or lifelink until end of turn. But nothing from like the card spoiled seems to target yet. 
it's all refers to targeting. Oh, ruthless lobbringer. And the Shabal Filium may sacrifice another creature when you do destroy target non permanent. That targets. Scorching Shot, Red Red, deals 5 damage to target creature at sorcery. Red Red, kills Joel Red. Zelvala. Gains flashback. This is literally Snapcaster Mage, but you have to plot it. The Gitrog, Ravenous Ride. Wait, so wasn't Gitrog a place? Was the Gitrog monster? For it was like a monster in Gitrog. I guess it's just a name of the monster. Upgrade Rose for Penny Red. Is that relevant? Probably which soccer frenzy is preferable, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not always. Alchemy get drug. Whenever I land, and there's a battlefield under control, perpetually gains. Kulari sacrifice Drake card. Holy guacamole. Alright, new round. Da Vinci asks if I have evaluated the better buffed beanstalk, but I don't think I have because I haven't seen anything like that. Another Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Lush Portico, Tainted Indulgence. I'll keep. Satoru. I've seen Satoru. I've read it, but I don't think I've understood fully what it did. Let's look at Satoru. Doesn't exist. All right, it's gone. I'll get under city sewers. Been a form of negotiation. Hopefully dry land that lets me cast Tainted Indulgence. Instead I can choose to grief. Ephemerate my villain opponent. But I think I would like to pitch. Like, I think I would like to cast Indulgence. Canister. What's up, Mr. Shago? Lush Portica. Oh no, not the thing of Thrayo, but that's too much. Please 
Что я ордан? Let's fetch another watery grave. I fail. One devil blue and devil black. What will encounter my tainted indulgence? Oh, this is interesting. In the worst case, I get stubbled. But it's a two for two trade. The question becomes do I want to draw a grief now? I think it's too bad against a counter spell. And I would prefer to draw a draw spell. So I'll bottom it. And will I'm pretty aggressively trading. I mean I guess saddle thing a grief is not really aggressive. Against the ephemera deck. But what was pretty aggressive was the counter spell on Tainted Indulgence. Like you expect to counter all of them? It seems like it's a bug. And we drew the grief anyways, even though I put it on the bottom. He has another counter spell. Will counter spell the phone? No. Okay. I'll cast. Okay, they had the counter spell. Just wanted to not tap out. Ah, oh, so now I can lose to ring. Unfortunate. Or I can exile the ring. Hope that I don't have another one. I don't know, any extra planeswalker or Lurin revealed or another ring could be brutal here. One, two, grab Kahira, that's not so brutal. Grayo. Well, the decision to counter my tainted indulgence is paying off. Keep a card on top. Is that the ringster again? No, it's Kahira. Feminine is so bad right now. Free mana. Draw two. That's crazy. Is that the onion ring? Yes.
The onion ring has entered the effects area. Kahira killed now. It should be smooth sailing. Right. Nine cards in her hand. How did that happen? When did that get collected? Not much point in playing the game anymore. Well, I play in the Vintage or Legacy Showcase events this weekend. I'm not qualified for either of those, so the answer is no. I would if I was. Why no amulet today for some variety? To provide Char with a different experience every now and then. It's probably not a Narset build if it's playing Archmage's Charm. Keep more wide up, but they'll counter it anyways. Now that we exiled Kahira, do we just wait for opponent to deck themselves? They do have a subtlety in play, which... ...has the capacity to deal damages, so...
Ring is just so punishing. It is, yes. It makes the ring caster win most of the time. I counter. Feminate not looking so hot. I wonder if I should board out some of them. Probably not. For like the turn one grief upside is pretty high. Isn't the solution to modern just to play free mana to ferry in Titan? Holy shit, is it? I would play the fairy if he was green. Well, I'm more forced to fix for the fairy. That's amongst That's Da Vinci's most sane idea. Manamorphos convert my colorless and green into blue and white. Castafari. Dryad fixes for Tafari. Holy shit. That is so true. I hope this was something I thought about, actually. Sure, why not? Holy shit, that resolves. Well played opponent. I mean buying a popper deck is not very offensive. They're cheap too, so Can just get one. What's weak? Spider Gaming is like only his rest in peace, really. So, to I can probably. Play zero, it's fine. Payful mining is cards advantageous. Scar one Falaccio to increase the hit rate of the other one. Mm. 
Let's continue searching for Satoru. Still can't find it. Oh, Lazaf. That's the blue black one, I guess Satoru is. Where is it? Tiny Bones joins up, legendary enchantment. It was going to be a, the greatest heist of his own life. Holy shit. There's a new bounce hunt for a miraculous madness cost. Okay. Is anyone gonna be interested in that? Maybe, but... Satoru seems not to exist. Um, this backwater doesn't have a single wall, ward or guard that could keep me out. Infiltrator and or one or more other non-token creatures. Enter the battlefield under control. If none of them were cast or no mana was spent to cast them, draw a card. So it doesn't just draw a card on ETB, it needs to have entered without being cast or no mana cast. That's insane. You pitch grief, you draw a card. I'll keep. This is busted with omniscience. Holy shit. Not being on cast is lame. A bit. I guess if you ephemerate it, it draws a card. You said it's gonna make this deck tier zero, but... Might be worth trying. I don't know if it necessarily does just fit cleanly. How has Scholar been so far? So far, zero casts and one graveyard with a surveil. I guess I would prefer Archaeologist in this hand because I would just He's cast it for cheaper. Drawing a card when you go to holy shit. For all the problems you have scholars to sell, I'll try. Ah, <sighs> come on, dear. Do I call on the rate of Ari? And you play Grief? Because I think I don't play Scholar. I think I'll shock because then my opponent doesn't want to play their own Tefari into my form. And then I play Grief and they counter it and they play Ring happily. And I command D it. That's my plan for the game. Because yeah, villain, if villain like kept counter spell, they had counter spell, they would just prefer to keep counter spell now, or even Archmage's charm. Yeah, 
instead of tapping out for it to fire. If they tap out for it to fire, I found false negation for free mana. And then grief. I counter. Worse if they keep up subtlety. Really don't want to play a creature now. To subtlety mana. Let's counter it draw two. Can still take the ring. I could commandeer a prior then. To bottom. Okay, now I'll get a survillain and play a grief again. I cannot get subtlety. Countering a divination is a two for one. Yes, kind of, it is. Whoa, that's useful for later. Resolves. Cast a removal spell in response to trigger. No, too scary, right? All right, bro, you got it. Takes immense balls though. Let's take the salty. So they don't have a choice other than just to play the ring. I'll keep the Steam Color Scholar in my hand because it's insane. So now I want to draw a Fortsy's Grief counter spell. Gorias. Gorias should find. Things.
I would only find two bow masters and an ephemerate in seven cards. Which I probably I would stop then. Ephemerate it. Then draw maybe in my opponent's turn once again. I would get the ring, but with Bowmasters. Does Ephemerate plus Gorios work the way you think? Actually, it does. Haven't played Modern in a while. Is Ragavan dead? No, Ragavan is not dead. But it's not... as... Omega... Present as it used to. Well, I guess Zoo plays Ragavan. It's it's a very common card. I guess I'll keep. Ragavan may return to Moon and Solar Ring, last of an M. Unlucky. I'll double Ephemerate, but I guess I'll discard one the scholar and then I can blink the scholar. Nice no. No subtlety. Well, I'll take Plaster Storm. Canister is not worth playing amulet. What kind of question is that? Is worth. Which is not playing amulet at this very moment. Polluted Delta. Into Hallowed Fountain. Into Activate Lurian. Yeah. I'm actually playing Amulet on my second screen, on my second mod, mod account, that's why some of my moves are a little bit slower. One of those 14 entrants is just me on my second screen, on my second secret mod account, but you'll have to guess which one is that. How does it feel to play a real deck? Holy shit, that's extremely soul crushing when you put it this way. I mean, Amulet is not powerless. They just win a tournament. This card is matching. We discarded a marching. Then one of Vengeance, Grief and Ephemerate. I wanted to do that, but it's a paper only play. so strong onion ring onion 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 ring hmm ay 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 
Ai, 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 ai. Oh, Trax has a creature of flying. Holy shit, this guy is insane. It's not only instant or so, city. Alright, we'll... be better equipped to do that next time. Next time. I'm gonna draw... 2 and 3, 5. So bad. I don't know if I want to vengeance so that's why i didn't i'm gonna have so many cards holy fuck <sighs> but i guess i probably should cast the vengeance now while i can resolve it and then probably playing the land was a bit bad But like this seems impossible to be D-ring. I'll take Grizzlebrand, Island, Force, not Force, Forces, Vengeance. Grizzlebrand seems necessary thank you for the raid Sodek how was your stream adventurous don't understand this line but what do you want to do then you want to take different cards of Atraxa? If I'm casting Gorio, I should definitely not make a land drop. I play the land drop not being sure if I want to play Goraya, of course. The preferable outcome would be to think through my play first. Counter spell, counter spell, Archmage's charm. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, Slush Portico, Indulgence ready. Was funny. Okay, I have a plan for this game. It involves my opponent untapping the ring EOT. Then I respond to that by reanimating Grizzle Brand and hitting. No, weź kurwa, tapuj to gówno, no, już zacząłeś. Ja pierdole. He didn't even do that. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, at least it didn't activate. Is it my mind? Maybe. Maybe yes. Let's cast the draw to. I, I guess I did explain the plan. To which my opponent was like, nope. Not if I have a say in it. Oh! That's a relevant card. No, I don't have Commandeer. Commandeer seems pretty mid in this deck. It's just one Commandeer to find off of Adraxa activations. It's been pretty good last game when I stole the ring. Failed to draw two blue cards. My plan has failed. Come on, they're so poor. Yeah, so poor, bros. They recover pretty well from that initial situation, though. Let's see if they can survive my Steam Core Skull R. Beatdowns. Hmm, that's weird. Creature, weird detective. Holy shit, that's one of the greatest puns that Maro has conceived in his mind in the last decade. Okay. <clears throat> Don't get it. The creature type is weird and it says, hmm, that's weird. I guess that's all that there is to it. Cast Atraxa makes villain tap 3 mana to Archimedes Charm. Switch is either Swamp, which is here, Godless Shrine, which is in the deck, <clears throat> or Shadowy Backstreet, which is here, so it's not better than Planes. I think casting Atraxa does not lead to victory, unfortunately, so I will not. Not sure if anything does, though.
Fallaji Archaeologist, I see. Let's can cast two threatening spells end of turn and then try to do something and have Commander up the entire time. While they go to free life now. If villain is about to play five mana soul too, then it's a bit rough. Villain draws two. No, Sroli curva two. Sroli srud. So now I'll cast four mana saddle team. Or will I? Maybe I'll vengeance a grizzle brand. The salty seems actually more important. Counter target spell. So now I'll subtlety for four mana. I guess I could command here now to flip this to this. But now we can do the command here. Well, the Commander Charm I can counter at Solitude, right? So, pitch what? Falaji. Manding just have a Traxa to Hardcast. Right, whatever. They're gonna fall anyways. Fucking stuck. So we lose because the Wandering draws more cards than... ...anything and they're gonna have Salted in play too... ...with... ...withstand the life loss. Blue white control is so pretentious, my friends. It's just I counter, I draw, I counter, I counter. I play, I resolve. You don't resolve, I counter. Have we considered that perhaps flight control is good? I mean, it's not too bad, but... It's also pretentious, those two are not exclusive.
being pretentious is in fact good into in magic nowadays, so it actually makes sense. Blue light control four signs and four ley lines. Holy shit, that is very funny. Yenrik has been praising Narset blue white control for a long time, but it's also possible that a no Narset build like this is also preferable. I mean, now it doesn't matter, I just have too much. Stern scolding, yeah, sure. He's a phenomenal control player. Hello, Mr. Canister, how did the Praga adventure go? The Praga adventure... It was a nice trip. Although... I went 6 3 67th for not making day 2, then I... Mm. Played in the classic qualifier, which costs 100 euros to enter. I lost the penultimate round, so I didn't get to the top eight of that, which would qualify for for the RCI there, which then left me with the 14th place and. For which I got, I'll show you. You have to rotate your head, but this is the prize I got for for that tournament, which is kind of funny that they even have like a top sixteen payout, but like you win the qualification for the RC and all that. Like two boxes or whatnot for getting top eight, but then also you have to come, you have to perform the walk of shame if you are in the top 16 and you have to collect your prizes. And the prizes is actually 40 tickets, which equals two uh, boosters. And you could only take the Lost Cavern of Excellence ones because the play boosters from Murders at Carl of Manor were. 30 tickets each. So... <laughs> I think I'll just stay at home and play... Modo. Chasing the RCs is... kind of... It's like a very ungrateful... pursuit. Did any of your friends do well? Yeah, Ardos did. Well, I don't know why we, how he placed in the end, but he played Gorios and he had a deep run into the day two and he also like, he already had the qualification, so it didn't really matter much. A friend of mine was quite mad because he has placed ninth in Paprikash and all he got was a promo explore after playing 300 Zwote or something like this. Yeah. The cheater had got caught. Tell me the story.
And like then there's the local RCQs where black people play against five other people and makes you feel like a fool for participating in that. So yeah, Prague was extremely nice. Danielo, Carmine, Hihim. Is there no sound? Okay, there is sound. So Danielo, Serges. Doesn't shuffle top. Harry enters the battlefield. Left salty on top. Not nice, don't do that shot. Why didn't his opponent cut the deck? Uh, I don't know. Could be a multitude of reasons. My friend was 65 after day one and got to play day two because they DQ'd the guy overnight. That's funny. It is nice to see people disqualified from Magic the Gathering tournaments. So I can FM, I can grieve here. Seems bad. How big of an issue is the ley line activating though? With Sion next turn, if I just let it happen, then I can no longer kill any creatures. Your opponents cheat like 50% of the time. My opponents? That's crazy. Okay, they have the Shion. I guess the tracks are just Trump's Shion. I'll reanimate Artaxa. Maybe it's a Force of Negation deck and then I just gonna get Force of Negation. I guess you can't really tell from their first few plays. Mm. No Ephemerate. Can take Lush Portico. Well, this Portico actually good to kill the Leyline next turn. Lush Portico. Force of Negation, I, I guess I just get to grab one creature. Maybe it's Team Skull Scholar. Maybe it's just Solitude. Let's just get Solitude. As long as you can pay. Two lands in a row, that's fine. I'll just prismatic ending a ley line and I just sold to the Draco and 
<clears throat> Salted for creatures with hexproof. Well, soon to be hexproof less. That's my plan for the game, at least. That's why Luz Portico was taken. Oh no, my Delta is gone. <laughs> it's the first time I see a Vigilance Dash Dragoman, it looks so funny. Actually. Maybe I'll just pitch to kill a Kavu. It's a free free. Can also pitch to kill a Scion, which. cannot be killed by ending, and then I'll just have a lot of life. Will villain deploy dashing Ragavanos? Yes, they will. So I'll take four more for the opportunity to hardcast. Let's not. Holy shit, this this exiles cast from a graveyard. It really does that. I knew that, but I never how it be relevant for me yet so uh, not used to thinking about that but it is relevant in the matchup i guess I guess they don't have Giganta, so we know they are the counter spell build. That's painful. On. That's a genius strat Ardos, but most likely it's an indication of the fact that my opponent just wanted to Should I have forced the bolt? I find the storms have to be bad in new meta. Mm, not necessarily. It's not a good card against Zod, though. Which is a bit of an issue. Like it against Yogmoth. Ay, ay, ay. 
To fulek. Nie gryziemy, co? So, unfortunately, I am dead. So maybe I run dismembers for FNM instead. We can run the dismember. Like the issue of dismember is that dismember sucks us too. Even more so. It's just horrible. Do I want to play like control? Gori in combat. On what? Thank you for our input chat. I love it when you say stuff. I think I'll cut Grizzlebrand. Playing live to draw cards. Not really into that against the tribal. Flames deck. Bowmaster against Ragavan, perhaps. It's probably too weak. I could skip Fotsis, paying life. Stinky. Kind of spell build does not play Tribal Flames usually. I don't believe you. I believe you. Still, I'll cut Grizzle Brands and cut Mendings. But I guess I can keep Fotsies then. The fairies maybe I guess I won't cut fossil negation, it's pretty bad too. Guess their creatures plus counter magic combinations, I would prefer to just remove the creatures. I wasn't sure if there was something in your graveyard, so you assumed I so you assumed there was and I didn't realize there was a creature in my graveyard. And that you need to Point me in the direction of clicking on it. Understandable. Am I still not a huge fan of the white splash titan canny? Yeah. I don't like it much. No, I was not paying attention. Okay, well. Thank you for your input then. Can't fetch Lush Portico with that, so... Let's get Shadowy Backstreet. Ephemerate, Ephemerate Solitude. I don't think so.
I probably will not want to use it in the next, like, many turns. Priest of Fell Rides to block Ragavan sounds not so bad. Use have ending for Kavu. Just kill it. I think I prefer to block it. Like Bolt, you probably like want to board out Bolt. Maybe not. The rest of the elementals. But a trade seems really advantageous. Well. Casting prismatic ending means that my opponent plays a Kavu and I shoot my pants and die. Leyland binding, okay. And exhaust my Falaccio. Now I'll play the Steam Skull Skorralar. Oh no, Stern Scolded. That stinks. Holy shit, that was punishing. Stern Scolding. So I guess Falaji would have been better this game than Steam Score Scholar, I think. I'll try to get my opponent with soul to the femorate, perhaps. Candle of the Grey, Candle of the Fool. He's a phenomenal control player. Pro player Kavu. Red, green, yeah, that's all you need to do. Blue, white, rest in peace. All right. Fair. So I cast this, Pitch Vengeance. Kill Pitch Ending. Solitude. Villains have six with one card in hand, so... They are gone. Those creatures. Pitch strong ending. Fair. Dash Ragavan. Dash Ragavan is interesting. I probably just should trade. Means my ephemerate comes back for no value, but they have one card in hand. Preorden. Ah, pre-order. No, 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 no. I think I'll hit the rest in peace. It's not like guaranteed that I should.
but I will get a mm, Surviland now. Surveil the island for sure. Duro. Supreme Verdict. Just a single Kavul seems worthwhile. Maybe I can make this Tainted Indulgence into a draw too. A free cost in my graveyard. Keldrook, thank you very much for your Prime sub. I appreciate your support. Free mana, Tefari. Mm -hmm. Bounce nothing. And I drew Vengeance, so... Let's find the Atraxa. Holy shit, I just did. I simply did. Sorcery. Instant. Land. Creature. Attack the fairy. What sees you? Take iteration, right? They just play land and pass and they can bind my grief, that's awkward. If they play a creature then I can take their binding with... Holy shit, Mao being censored hits me once again, making it seem like I am being rude to my opponent. Why are they lolling me, even? What did they find so funny? Where's the humor in the situation? Shall I learn yesterday that the liquid in your eye It's called humor. You ever realize that? What a weird name. This is a Polish joke. No, it's not. I was like for some reason curious about the contents of an eye because I realized I had just never seen a how does a lie eye look like inside. So I looked up a section of an eye of a horse on YouTube. And I learned that the liquid in it is called humor. And there was a comment on that YouTube video, which, which was funny. It said, I failed to see the humor in the situation, said the horse. Get it? Because it was a, an eye of the horse being dissected. We are not for seizing the binding. Yeah, I don't. Like, I don't see the need to. In fact, I'll pitch the Fotsis. I have two cards. Next turn, maybe I'll play. Control player. Play Grief. Wow, is this an actual factual Kaniki stream? Now I just need a Lush Portica to cast my Atraxa. Sh 
Ocean of Draco. Yeah, now I'm gonna grief now. The discard Atraxa. This Lush Portico funny name to say. It's a bit funny, yeah. Lush Portico. Is it Lush or Lush? Lush Portico. How are my pets doing? Pets, pets are doing okay. We can make Stefan reveal chat today. Can grab him to you. With Stefan. Stefan is the chinchillas that chinchilla that lives with with me. Alright, I'll take the damage. That's fair strike. So between rounds I'll grab him. No! Ragavan got my Lush Portico. Holy fuck! What a fucking little monkey nerd it is. Lush Portico. He's a phenomenal control player. Buena watcho Kalau. Lush Portico. What do you even exile, my friend? The grief that's not about to just die? Fair. I take Atraxa, Vengeance, Meticulous Archive. That sucks. Maybe I'll just take. Because I can't cast the Atraxa, I'll just take the Solitude. I think it was 7 lands, right? It was 3 spells Atraxa, Solitude, Vengeance. As a creature, I'm keeping all the creatures. Now I'm controlling my opponent. The deck has only one green source, question mark. You are correct. It truly does. Another sign of Draco for four mana. What a banger card. Shoop. Vigilance. match feels like a time loop every turn i solo to the sign of draco and every turn my opponent summons a new one it's so just going to go on and on like that forever that said i feel favored
Oh no. They played the ferry on their own. They play prior then. Like maybe I don't mind bowmasters. Probably pretty weak. Marczyk. No Marczyk się z niczym nie wymienia dobrze, więc trochę wieje. Could also play salty to play it for four mana, but that's pretty costly. This is life gain, but it's only Tribal Flames deck, so it's not as important. Bowmaster against Kavul. Just blocks. Seems a bit weak. But let's try it. Let's see how... Six mana, nine and flying, it's insane. I agree. Hmm... Tempting hand. Build on Mulgans to six. Alright, I'll keep. It might be a cleanup situation, but probably, hopefully not. Will and Mulgan to six on the play. Now Let's hope they don't deploy a Ravagan, but Steam Vents sure suggests... Ooh, Preorden, that's nice. Love it. So, like, if we go for a cleanup line, it's... Like, the cleanup is gonna happen on turn 3. Whoa, no play? That's awesome. Let's fetch the... I don't really want to fetch Lush Portico. If I find Tainted Indulgence, I just want to be able to cast it. So... It's the Medical Archive. Nope. Holy guacamole. Savai Triumph Candor Spell Deck. Such a classic. We have other counters than just Stern Scalding. Okay. Grief. Delta. 
Perch. Placis. Griff. What's in there, my friend? Nothing worth revealing, I, I see. Crazy. Alright, I need a buff on break and then I'll come back with Stefan to perform a Stefan reveal chat. All right, no Stefan reveal actually because he's in deep slumber uh, in his cage, so I didn't want to disrupt his sleep.
That said, Modern Horizons 3 release date June 14th. Which means that it's just a few months away. <clears throat> Does he have a cute hat? Stefan? He actually does, yeah. Oh, it's not like he's wearing it all the time. So MH3 is June 14th. I will probably feel motivated to stream more with MH3. Modern is gonna be new. It's gonna be so many things to try. How do they single sets? Like normal sets now, just they release and you think, oh yeah, cool, cool beans. I don't actually care. But then all oh, the Horizon sets steal all the thunder. And they're actually very interesting because. How many bullets do I have left to queue for MH3 PT? Well, I'll need to play in the RC. That's the only bullet. <clears throat> I am not qualified for the RC. To play in the RC, I would need to go to Bologna and qualify for the RC in Bologna. But I'm not sure if after spending $100 on... Spending one hundred dollars on this, I am not so sure if I am so motivated for that. I'll go to Amsterdam anyways. I got the content creator badge. Whether I'm qualified for the PT or not. Oh, when the mocks open, yeah, that's true. There's nothing interesting in Bologna. The old town is small, that's all. Well, there's a tournament. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Bingo, row, correct, computer, fight, amend, blue, potato, fix, stiff, poker, roulette, revise, lottery, scrap, war. Well, yeah, from from what I talked with Huey at one of the Pro Tours, he just said that like the way he envisions that is that people will get to play some PD sometimes. So I'll just begin to accept that and uh, qualify for some PD sometimes and. It's fine. It's a bit too ungrateful of a NDA work to chase too hard, so. I'll see if I'm in the mood to travel to Bologna when it gets closer to that. Uh, 
There's also the Four Seasons Tournament, yeah, exactly. What format is Bologna? It's modern. Row War Tiff Fight. I have no idea what's a Tiff, and I have no idea what's a Row in this context. But I'll trust you. Probably means, well, not quite. Bingo, correct computer, fight, amend, blue, potato, fix, stiff, poker, roulette, revise, lottery, scrap, war, poker, roulette, bingo, lottery, one away. <laughs> Row, fight, tiff, scrap, quarrel. Okay. Amend, fix, correct, and revise. That sounds good. Update for accuracy. Potato, blue, poker, roulette, computer, lottery, bingo, war. Uh, war, poker, lottery, no. You can play war with cards, but... Lottery roulette bingo poker. Well, we did that. And it said one away. Already guessed. I like war is it like a game of chance. Yeah. Random games, yeah. Computer, poker, blue potato. Deep computer, deep poker, deep blue, and deep potato. Poker chip, computer chip, blue chip, potato chip, what's a blue chip? Kasia Andrew is Pugi Kyodawe. Dobra. You know, deep potato as in deep fried makes a lot of sense to me. Oh yeah, blue chip in Balatro, blue steak rather. Lizard like amphibian that often eats its shed skin. Hmm, shed skin. Lizard like amphibian. Frog. Do frogs eat their skin? Quit gracefully. Go out. Do toads eat their skin? I never heard of that. That's untrue. Fucked. Check. Is frog lizard like? To me, it is. Newt. I mean, frog is pretty, pretty, pretty lizard like. But newt is more li lizard like than frog, so I'll give you that. Offered as payment. M on e e e? No. Lizard like should mean with tail. Oh, thank you, Mr. Authority, on what's lizard like and what is not lizard like. If I wasn't taught at school that frogs and blizzards are. Reptiles and amphibians, respectively, the other way around. 
then I wouldn't realize that and I would think they're part of the same animal group so I think they're pretty lizard-like Nintendo franchise with pushy penguins and books queer minigames Mario Party Never played Mario Party so I don't actually know Cook with intense, intense heat. Sear. The dog ate my homework. Totally crashing on. Boil. Boil is pretty extreme too, but sear makes. Yeah. B O E bleh. We'll see. Cautious. Very. Is that how you spell it? What? W I R I. Links wise allies in Tears of the Kingdom. Sages. Holy shit, something that I actually knew. It's the stuff that genes are made of. DNA. Why is it like a Song emoji. Land surrounded by water. Isle. Give charitably. Donate. Sounds good. I think seer sticks. Like an entree that's already that's ready to be served. Okay. All right, the problem has started. Let's perform actions against in the mirror match allegedly, eleven days ago, seen playing Goraya's Vengeance, and they are also using the tiger avatar. That's funny. True mirror. This is probably good to keep on top. If needed, I can grief ephemerate my villain or ephemerate my attack sound turn three, which I'll do. I guess I there is an argument for doing it sorcery speed against Soul Cauldron. So I can like mending find a black card. Ay ay ay. Could also mending in response to find false of negation, probably should have. Yeah, false of negation also good because of the half link. Good point. Oh no, now their creatures have attracts as activated abilities. Happy that wasn't a grizzle brand. I hope just wouldn't have discarded it. <clears throat> I 
Well, let's see what this leads me to. I guess if I discard at Yogmoth, literally nothing happens though, because they have the cauldron. So, I guess I probably should have Sorcery Speed Faithful Mended. To grief their cauldron and then I would win. Holy shit, 420 viewers together with Andrea Mengucci. Blaze it. Thank for the raid, but now we are in a bit of trouble. But I guess one prismatic ending and I'm still in some trouble. Yeah, just prismatic ending it. Here villain can discard to proliferate. Or sacrifice the wall. Or cast Chord of Calling. X2. I curva bowmasterze. So, I mean, does it do anything to man to mending? So bad. Maybe it does. Perfect. Oh, Interesting game. My level of play of this deck is fairly sloppy. So I'm He's getting demolished, but control player. I feel like Archery. I'm learning a bit step by step. Mangura Eyed, Gachi Music. Come on, college boys. Why Spanish music? asks Real Advisor. Good question. I discard my solitude, why did I do that? I feel emotionally dis destroyed this game, I'll try again in the next one. Well, Masters is a bit of a problem. So I could use my own Bow Master against their Bow Masters. Probably use Supreme Verdict, LD, Solitude, March. Fairy and Celestial Purges. Fairy is sketchy. Grizzle Brand I don't want. Priest same. Mending is poured into into villains cards. 
Bow Masters, namely. Surgicalos, no interest in Surgicalos. I think this card is not good enough to play so many of it. Hmm, that's weird. Blocking with archaeologists doesn't seem that important either. The purges may be a bit... Oh, purge is probably okay, like... It's many important cards. Enough important cards to to be okay, I feel like. I'll keep this on the back of a Survey land. Meticulous archive. Wolf. Smart beginning is my only answer to Cauldron now. Am I interested to kill? Am I interested in killing the wolf? I can do it next turn too. Well, then I can surveil. Could ignore the cauldron with my hand, so it seems like my hand could just kill everything my opponent plays. Not even give the cauldron an opportunity to to do much, so I feel like I can just chill. Here I'll take one. Hopefully villain plays something I can kill. That's fine. I celestially purge it. And do we get Lush Portico now? I think we do. It might be a hard cause it tracks a game, so getting the Lush Portico now seems not useless. Can hit the wolf with so to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, there's a court that they have court for Yogmov now. So I probably should have hit the wolf. Well, then they still would have had the card. Okay. Not really willing to trade it for the insect either. The solitude, so...
awkward, but Supreme Verdict is interesting. <sighs> what do I want to play it now? I don't think so. Well, Manning is not uncastable. It's just... I don't want to cast it. So it's uncasted. Holy shit, villain is extremely villainous. I'll click on Salted now, I promise. I think this young wolf dealt less than 10 damage. But close to. Well, what now? Selting the young wolf feels extremely weak. But not doing that feels like letting my opponent drawing 10 cards and losing. Oh, oi, oi, oi. I pitch the verdict. Curry Atraxa. Because verdicting, what does it really do for me? Not thing almost. One just draws cards and then still has a young wolf in play and I just keep scratching my head and dying. Do not like the sound of that. Villain put the young wolf on top of the library, plays a green land and 
sacrifices the wall to draw a wolf and draw scars anyways. Well, fuck me then. Maybe I was supposed to click on my solitude earlier. I think I could have done that sorcery speed at one point. Can I pass it there instead? Gonna need to watch a replay of this one, but I have two fatal pushes. Two fail pushes against my deck? I mean, I guess you're scared of grief. But if I hit Atraxa and Vengeance and hit them for seven, I think I have a chance. Finally cast many after seven turns. Well, like all my cards were decent, so I didn't want to discard any of them, so I didn't cast it. It's not that it wasn't castable. It's just that I didn't want to. Maybe should have bought it out. That was the last one in my deck, like the single copy. Holy shit, so many wolves. It's been all four wolves, right? Also, I can see Bowmaster deck, it's just bad to cast, right? Interesting problem, nonetheless, we just went 2-2, two, two, but I th think it is quite possible that we had more game against blue white and we for sure had much more game against yogmoth so could have done a bit better in this match And how was Team Core Scholar in this prelim? It wasn't too bad. It's pretty hard to say if it was excellent or not. How was Prague? Prague was fine. 
but it also is not clear to me if I want to keep like going to events like this to chase the RC invites because it's easy to fail and then when you fail it's very costly and maybe I'll just sit home and play Almodo forever. How was Boros Convoke? Convoke was fine. I got a deck from a very kind gentleman who responded on Twitter. Borrowed me the deck for the classic qualifier. I went 5 2, got 14th. Uh, it was like the first time I played standard too. With this deck, at least. It seemed pretty powerful for a standard deck. Not. Not so like it's not as good of a pioneer deck, the convoke deck, but in standard it just feels right on track. Let's finish the crossword. Yeah, it's gonna get a fast land now because honestly, like when I first got the deck list, I was wondering if it's a if it's just a budget choice or like something like that. Because the deck list had four mountain, four planes, but then I just looked and people just play like that. So now, you know, getting to go two mountain, two planes for inspiring vantage, that sounds like a good time. I guess you probably cut sound on pass first. What are fast lands? Inspiring vantage. Did I like the Evangelist? I played with no Evangelist. The list I got was Triple Bunicorn, Triple Case of the Gateway Express, Two War Leader Skull, no Evangelist. Other than that, it was this. Evangelist is better than Call, yeah, said Da Vinci, agreeing with me. While I didn't actually make that statement. Call was pretty awkward to deploy many times. And also uncastable because my mana was covered in Mirex every every other game. HBCU founded by Booker T. Washington. What's a HBCU chat quick? Like an entree that's ready to be served. Played. Muskege. I'll trust you. Played that. Plated entree. Holy shit, that's so smart. Organs that a Black Widow spider has eight of. Eyes. And 18 is Pete and repeat were sitting on a fence. Start of an endless joke. Good joke. The youngest Hemsworth brother gave charitably tackled with energy. Liam
task G. Then it's gonna be add. Makes more sense for seven. Very sure it can spring a leak. Spring a leak. Phrased phrase used to stall. Let's slow down. Let's slow down now. No. Let's let's do let's do what? Find sure that can spring a leak water bed. Anyone in the chat has a water bed in their house? Let's see now. I guess. Animals whose milk is used to make a rock for cheese eyes. Showed off on the runway. War. Eves instead, okay. You wear things on the runway. Container for anchovy paste tube. Quite gracefully bow out. Tender, yep. That's untrue, not so, not see, not say, not sa, not so, I guess. Umpire's invitation to a softball player, but tear up. I don't know. <laughs> totally crashing on into crushing on tackled with energy went at Crazy. Oi, oi, oi. Nonetheless. Thank you for joining me for the prelim today. Tomorrow I will play a prelim. Maybe with Garayo. Maybe with White Amulet. To celebrate the fact that it won LMS Prague. With two frag tasks. Always carry two spears. Guess you don't even see that it's the white build. Let's pull the sideboard here. Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, and Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. What a crew. So, see you tomorrow. Stay hydrated, and I hope you're going to have a good rest of the day.